in the beginning and now be
joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. You're the heart of my contentment, hope for all I do. Oh, Jesus, you're the center of my joy. When I lost my direction, you're the compass for my way. You're the fiery light when nights are long and cold. In sadness, you're the laughter that shatters all my fear. When I'm all alone, your hand is there to hold. Oh, Jesus, you're the center of my joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. You're the heart of my contentment, hope for all I do. Oh, Jesus, you're the center of my joy. why I find pleasure in the simple things in life. You're the music in the meadows and the streams. The voices of the children, my family and my home. You're the source and finish of my highest dreams. Oh, Jesus, you're the center of my joy. All that's good and perfect comes from you. Contentment, hope for all I do. Oh, Jesus, you are the center of my joy. Jesus, you are the center.
And I want to live verse 8 for our consideration today. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. The New King James Version of the Bible has these words recorded as today's text. Listen for the word of the Lord. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. For a few minutes this morning, I simply want to tag this text for preaching. He's the same. He's the same. My brothers and my sisters, my sisters and my brothers, I'm confident that you will agree with me when I say life is uncertain and life is full of changes. Our public and private situations and circumstances change abruptly and without notice. Even though some of life's changes and uncertainties may give us some advanced warnings, but more than not, they will occur when we least expect it. Yet, within the twinkling of an eye, tranquility can turn to turmoil, health can turn to sickness, happiness can turn to sorrow. And hope can turn to despair. In the last several months, we have had to deal with the change of lifestyle and the certain uncertainty of life due to the virus of Corona. The countless number of lives that have been lost, the life-changing normalcy of events, the disorientation of families and friends, the facial covering and social distance guidelines, the quarantine, the shutdowns and the shut-ins, and perhaps the biggest change and uncertainty that we are living with is the knowledge that there could be a second wave of the virus and we know not when. So change is one of the things that we can be sure of in this life. Our relationships change. Our health changes. Even the cells in our bodies are always in the process of change. The hymnologist Henry likes melancholy line in his hymn, Abide With Me, is true. Change and decay in all around I see. But then he immediately inserts with assurance the immutable God, O thou who changest not, abide with me. Uh, it is very refreshing and comforting to know uh, that the Lord never changes. He is and will always be the same. Yet in the midst of our ever-evolving and changing world, the Lord has not and will not change. And because of his immutability, because he does not change, he is still an anchor for our souls. He is still the fixed point of reference for our decisions. He is still the axis around which our life revolves. He's the same yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forever. Uh, today's text is found in the epistle of Hebrews chapter 13, verses, verse 8. Hebrew is an epistle with an unknown writer, written to uh, an unknown location, to an unknown audience, among an unknown context. But in spite of all of its unknowns, the writer in chapter 13 declares what he knows for sure. 
in the face of the unknowns of life, in, in the uncharted territories, in the midst of uncertain times, the Lord changes not. He is the same. At the time of the test, it is very, at the time of the test, it is a time of uncertainty and change. Uh, the old structures are crumbling and new ones are emerging. Persecution is intensifying, but uh, to reassure God's people that God has not and will not leave them, the writer of Hebrews 13 and 8 offers this reassuring testimony. For the writer declares, Jesus is the same yes. yesterday, yes. Yes. today, and forever. Now, you don't have to be a Matthew Henry or a biblical scholar to know it means Jesus ain't going to change. Yeah. yeah, he's the same way. Whatever he has been, he is now, and he will continue to be. Yeah, the, when the, the writer states this, he means Jesus' relationship to God and the Father is the same. Yeah. And that is to say, he has the same authority as the Father. He has the same status with the Father. He has the same dignity as the Father. He has the same honor as the Father. He deserves the same glory as the Father. He is unchanging. He is unchanging. He is the same. And because he is the same, there is no need to go looking for anybody or anything else because Jesus will always be what Jesus has always been. Therefore, I simply want to offer to you today that he is the same because he is the one stability when life shifts and changes. Yeah, he is the one stability when life shifts and changes. We are afflicted in every way but not crushed, perplexed but not driven to despair, persecuted but not forsaken, struck down. But not destroyed. One moment we are facing a pandemic, the next moment we are facing unemployment, the next moment we are facing injustice and racism. But in spite of all the changes and shifts in our lives, He is stable. He is secure. He's the same. He is our firm foundation who can give us confidence and security in these uncertain and changing times because he is the same. Yet yeah. when life shifts and changes occur, and he is your stability. For Jesus is greater than your hardships. Uh, Jesus can be and will be victorious over every one of your pain. So when you're facing the unknown territory, when you're facing uh, the uncharted territories, when you're looking and, and dealing with the ups and the downs and the downs and the ups, uh, the Lord does not change. He is the same. He's the one stability. When life shifts and when changes take place, uh, you can count on Him to always remain the same. I know one of the, the saints of yesterday used to say, my soul has been anchored in the Lord because they understood in the midst of life shifts and in the midst of life changes that Jesus is the same. He is the same, secondly, because he is a sovereign savior. He is a sovereign savior. He can do what he wants to do. He can do it when he want to do it. He can do it how he want to do it. And, 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 and he does not have to ask anybody for permission because he's sovereign he's, he's God and he's God all by himself yeah. uh, the great eternal son of God who, who came into the world and stooped to conquer sin and, and reconcile God and humankind the same God uh, uh, son of God who took on uh, nature in order that he might bring us to become the sons and daughters of God the same son of God became the son of man that the sons of men might be made to be the sons of God and he's the same as he ever was he's the sovereign savior of humankind yet yeah, he made heaven and earth because he was right there when God stepped out of nowhere on for nothing and said let us he put a cross on his shoulder 
He defeated death, hell, and the grave. He's the unelected sovereign savior of the universe. He is the one who writes in the books, keeps the books, balances the books, and when he returns, it will be one for the books because he is a sovereign savior and he's the same. He's the same pre uh, pre coronavirus uh, as, as he's the same now and he will be the same in post coronavirus. Uh, when everything is breaking down, he's the same. When everything is breaking loose, he's the same. In the midst of financial despair, he's the same. In the midst of a bad economy, he's the same. In the midst of unemployment, he's the same. When family and friends would desert you, he's the same. When your hopes have been dashed, he's the same. When your dreams have been shattered, he's the same. When your car has been repossessed, he's the same. When your house knows it's past due, he's the same. When you get a call notice from your about your utilities, he's the same. When your covers are empty, he's the same. When your mind is confused, he's the same. When your heart is broken, he's the same. Yes, he's the same God. Oh, yesterday he was a grandmother's doctor in a sick room. And you can testify today that he's your kid. Oh, yesterday he made a way for your granddaddy. And you can testify today that he's your way maker. On yesterday, he was your mama bridge over trouble waters. And today you can testify he's your provider. On yesterday, he was your daddy, heaven own shower. And today you can testify that he is your protector. Ah, he's the same, I tell you. What he, what he done on yesterday, he can do today, tomorrow, and forever. Who he was on yesterday, he is today, tomorrow, and will be forever. He's the same, and because he's the same, the writer of Hebrews 13 says in verse 15, offer sacrifice and praise to him with your lips, and because he's the same, I will rejoice in the fact that he will not change. Will you help me rejoice today? Because he's the same. You will go open your mouth and let his praise flow from your lips. Because he is the same. Praise him because he's the same yesterday. He's the same today. And he will be the same forever. Praise him for the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same. Because he's the same. He's the same God. of Satan because he's the same God. He's still in the business of Satan. And perhaps you're here today and perhaps viewing our broadcast and you have not made a conscious decision to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of your life. Today is a mighty good day to accept Jesus, the same Lord, the same as he was on yesterday, the same as he is today, the same as he will be on tomorrow and forever. He will not change. And because he is the same, no matter what you have done, he's still able to save today. No matter what you have done, he's still able to save today. He promised, he promised that when he died on Calvary's mountain over 2,000 years ago, that he was dying for the sins of the whole world. And that has not changed. And even today, he's alive and well, and he has not changed his agenda. He still can save you from the sins of the world. But you got to accept him as your Lord and as your Savior. And so if you hear him listening to this broadcast and you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, 
The invitation is for you today. Invitation is for you to simply repent of your sins. Believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. That He died for your sins. He got up on the third day morning. He's alive. And, 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 and He sits at the right hand side of the Father. And He's there making intercession for you. If you would only believe. If you will only confess him as Lord and Savior of your life, then I declare that you will become a child of God today. You will become a part of God's family today. You will not be the same. Because Jesus will make a difference in your life. Perhaps you simply need to dedicate your life to the Lord because you know that you have not been all that God has called you to be. You don't have to stay in the state that you're in. You don't have to stay in the condition that you're in. But you can be delivered from that situation. You can be transformed. You can become all that God wants you to be. By simply turning back to Him. My brothers and my sisters. You may need a church home today. I would love to be your pastor, the members of Mount Calvary. Would love to have you to be a part of our church family. So that you may get involved in ministry and become all that God has created you to be. So if I change you here today and you be here today, you need to become a child of God. Come say you need to become born again. You can do it today. If you can never dedicate your life to the Lord, you, you can do it today. If you need a church home, you, you can join today. And watch God do amazing things in your life. So about you to pray. Oh God, our Father, how excellent is your name. My God and my Master in the midst of this ever-changing world. I am so thankful that Jesus Christ never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and God, I'm 
and to gird us with your Holy Spirit. So much so that no matter what's going on around us, we will not turn around. We will not abandon our position of faith. But we want to stand on Jesus Christ. Baptiste reporting from home, here to usher you into this week's announcements. Don't forget, we have 6 a.m. prayer, Monday through Friday, on the prayer line. It's a great way to connect with the Lord and your fellow believers in the quiet morning hours. We have intercessory prayer every Tuesday at 6 p.m., also on the prayer line. Join us for online Bible study each and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. with our very own Pastor Bob, where your soul will be fed on the Mount Calvary AME Facebook page. On Wednesdays, we continue our Harvest Meal Feeding Program, where meals are being prepped at the church and delivered to the community. Please come out and volunteer your time. We get together to Zoom deeper into the Word each and every Thursday at 7 p.m. Please contact the church office for the Zoom link. On Sundays, we have adult church school, 9 a.m. on the prayer line, and Youth Church School, 1 p.m. via Zoom. Prepare yourself for a special treat. Join us online on Sunday, July 26th, as we celebrate my man, my pastor, Pastor Bob's third year anniversary. The Baltimore Annual Conference will be held on Thursday and Friday, July 23rd and 24th, and it's gonna be virtual. You don't wanna miss it. Well, that's it for this week's announcements. I hope you have a blessed week and can't wait to see you in person or virtually soon. I'm a big man in the beginning.